Fireworks are a spectacular display of chemistry in action. The beautiful colors, dazzling lights, and loud noises are all the result of carefully orchestrated chemical reactions. Here's a breakdown of the chemistry behind fireworks. Fuel. The primary component of most fireworks is a fuel, typically charcoal or sulfur. These fuels provide the energy necessary for the reactions that create the light and sound effects. Oxidizer. Oxygen is necessary for combustion to occur. In fireworks, the oxidizer is often potassium nitrate saltpeter, which provides the necessary oxygen for the combustion reactions to take place. Colorants. Metal salts are responsible for the vibrant colors seen in fireworks. Different metal salts produce different colors when heated. For example, magnesium salts produce white light upon burning. Calcium salts produce orange light. Copper compounds produce greenish-blue flame. Lithium salts produce orange-red flame. Potassium compounds produce purple light. Strontium compounds produce brick-red light. Iron-3 produces golden flame. Sodium salts produce yellow light. 4. Binders and Regulators These are chemicals that control the rate of the reaction and how the firework burns. They ensure that the firework burns at the desired pace and that the colors are produced in the correct sequence. 5. Explosives Some fireworks contain explosives to create the loud bangs and bursts associated with fireworks. Common explosives used include black powder, a mixture of charcoal, sulfur, and potassium nitrate, and flash powder, a mixture of aluminum powder and an oxidizer. Now, let's break down the chemistry that occurs during a fireworks display ignition. When the fuse of a firework is lit, it ignites the fuel. The heat produced from this initial reaction activates the rest of the chemicals within the firework. Combustion, the fuel and oxidizer react rapidly, producing a large amount of heat and gas. This reaction is exothermic, meaning it releases energy in the form of heat and light. Color production, as the metal salts are heated, their electrons become excited and move to higher energy levels. When these electrons return to their ground state, they release energy in the form of light. The specific wavelength of light emitted depends on the metal salt present, giving rise to the different colors observed. Explosions In fireworks designed to produce bursts of light and sound, explosives are included. These explosives rapidly release a large amount of gas, propelling the firework into the air and causing it to burst open. This burst disperses the metal salts, creating the colorful patterns seen in the sky while also producing the loud noise associated with fireworks. Overall, the chemistry of fireworks involves a delicate balance of fuel, oxidizer colorants, and other additives too. Create the dazzling displays enjoyed by millions around the world. The flame test is a simple qualitative analysis technique used to identify the presence of certain metal ions. In a sample based on the characteristic colors emitted when the ions are heated in a flame. The mechanism of the flame test involves several key steps. Vaporization. The sample containing the metal ions is placed on a clean, non-reactive loop usually made of platinum or nichrome wire and then introduced into the flame. The heat of the flame causes the sample to vaporize. Atomization. As the sample vaporizes, the metal ions present in the sample are converted into atoms. This process, known as atomization or desylvation, involves breaking the bonds between the metal ions and any surrounding ligands or solvent molecules. Excitation. Once in the gaseous phase, the metal atoms absorb energy from the heat of the flame. This energy causes the electrons in the atoms to jump from their ground state to higher energy Levels Relaxation After absorbing energy and transitioning to higher energy levels, the excited electrons eventually return to lower energy levels. As they do so, they release the excess energy in the form of light. Emission 
The emitted light consists of photons with wavelengths corresponding to the energy differences between the electron energy levels involved in the transitions. Each element emits light at specific wavelengths characteristic of that element. Color observation. The emitted light is observed visually. The characteristic color of the flame indicates the presence of specific metal ions in the sample. Different metals produce different colors due to variations in the energy levels of their atomic orbitals. Interpretation. The observed flame color is compared to a reference chart or database of known flame colors for different metal ions. By matching the observed color to the colors associated with specific metals, the presence of those metals in the sample can be identified qualitatively. It's important to note that while the flame test is a useful qualitative technique for identifying certain metal ions, it has limitations. For example, some metal ions may produce similar flame colors, making differentiation difficult. Additionally, the technique is not suitable for quantifying the concentration of metal ions in a sample. Flame test chemistry, also known as flame emission spectroscopy, involves analyzing the characteristic colors emitted by elements when they are heated in a flame. This technique has several important uses across different fields Qualitative analyses. Flame tests are commonly used in qualitative chemical analysis to identify the presence of certain metal ions in a sample. Each metal ion emits a characteristic color when vaporized in a flame, allowing chemists to determine which elements are present. Education and demonstration. Flame tests are frequently used in educational settings to demonstrate the concept of atomic emission spectra and the relationship between electron energy levels and the colors emitted by elements. They provide a visually engaging way to introduce students to spectroscopy and atomic structure. Forensic science. Flame tests can be useful in forensic science for identifying trace elements present in samples collected from crime scenes. By performing flame tests on residues or materials found at the scene, Forensic analysts may obtain clues about the composition of substances involved in criminal activities. Environmental analysis. Flame tests can be adapted for environmental analysis to detect the presence of certain metals in soil, water, or air samples. Monitoring metal concentrations in the environment is important for assessing pollution levels and potential ecological impacts. Industrial applications. Flame tests have applications in industries such as metallurgy, where they can be used to determine the composition of metal alloys or to check for impurities in metals. The technique is also employed in quality control processes to ensure product consistency and purity. Art conservation. In art conservation, flame tests can help identify pigments or dyes used in historical artworks or artifacts. By analyzing the colors emitted during flame tests, conservators can gain insights into the materials used by artists and make informed decisions about preservation and restoration techniques. Chemical research. Flame tests are sometimes used in chemical research to study the behavior of metal ions and their compounds under various conditions. Researchers may investigate factors affecting the intensity or color of the emitted light leading to insights into the underlying chemical processes. Healthcare, while less common than other applications, flame tests have been used in medical research and diagnostics. For example, certain elements present in biological samples or pharmaceutical formulations may be detected using flame emission spectroscopy techniques. Overall, flame test chemistry offers a simple yet effective Method for identifying and characterizing metal ions based on their unique emission spectra. Its versatility makes it valuable across a range of scientific disciplines and practical applications.